Hey everybody, just Frog here. I'm already recording this immediately after. I'm just gonna get this game done with. Uh, I'm glad to see you back here for uh, episode two of Bone Out from Boneville. And it appears we have <laughs> come around to the possum's clearing. Hi guys. The tiny. Hey, you're new around here. Who are you? I'm Phone Bone. Who are you? We're possums. Duh. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bone. I like that it's oh possum. It's clever. Do you know the way to the hot spring? Sure we do. But we're not telling. Oh fuck not? you. Not till he plays a game with us. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah they did like Wanna they did like games. Game, they did Bone? like games. Um Sure. Uh, well, They're okay. Cute. What do you want to play? What possums play best is dead. How about hide and seek? How about a story? Dead's I a don't fun want game. a story. I want to play. Mm. Hide and seek. Hide and seek sounds like fun. All right! Yay! Okay, go close your eyes and count to ten. <laughs> One, two, three. Where are those kids? You're a cheater. It was not ten. God damn. Uh, You're so cold it hurts. Damn. You're so cold it hurts. Oh, stop it. You are the coldest. God damn. Uh, are they? You are here? the coldest. What the fuck? <laughs> like they must be over in this direction. You're real warm now. Oh. Are they like in here? Ow! You're burning me! I assume so. Gotcha! Oh man! You get eight more guesses. Hmm. I'm gonna try walking right up to that, because I was I was told that I was I was cold, but I don't know. I don't worry. You're way cold! Oh f damn. Okay, so they're not in there. Maybe over here? This thing? You're way cold! Apparently not. What else can I click on? That? You're way cold! Jeez. Um, maybe right there. I just you gotta look for where you gotta click. You're way cold! Apparently not. Maybe they're in the, in the mailbox? Warm! Hmm. Warm! Nope, nobody there. Seven more tries! Nothing. Six more! Shit. There could be someone back here. Or not. I oh. thought this was a good spot. I was told Five that I was cold. Dick. Where are those kids? Four more tries! 
Are you even trying? Yeah. That's... <laughs> Warm ish. Warm ish. Don't say that. You are a gotcha. child. <laughs> that I did. Can't believe you beat us. Yeah, we're really good hiders. You want to play again, Mr. Bones? Uh, I'm gonna go. I don't wanna. <laughs> Not now, guys. You said you'd show me how to get to the spring. It's exactly. real easy. Just walk all the way over there and go through the bush. The bush with the flowers all over it. You sure you don't want to play another game? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Maybe another time. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. Bone. Bye. Bye, Bye, -bye. Mr. Bone. Nice kids. I did see that. Over here. That's the bush I they're talking about. Phone bone boner. Hello? Don't be afraid. Come on down. We'll share the pool. Aww. Hello. Graceful. <laughs> Are you new around here? Phone Bone, what's yours? Pleased to meet you, Phone Bone. My name is Thorn. Thorn? Ah. Beautiful name for a beautiful lady. That's lovely. Thorn. Uh, thanks? Not what I clicked on. Ted never. Damn, it's gonna hit on her now. Okay. I, uh,. I like your brooch. <laughs> oh, thanks. My grandma gave it to Again. me. Again? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just say. Ted told me to find you. He said you know everything. Well, that certainly sounds like Ted. Ted told me you could help me and my cousins get back to Boneville. Cousins? There are more of you? Uh, yeah. My cousins are stuck in this valley too, but I haven't seen them since I mean, we got hit by that swarm of I'm locusts. Sure there's more than you just don't me. say. One of my cousins is tall and kind of goofy. The other one is shorter and, uh, grouchy. Hmm, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen them. One's a slightly annoying musician, the other's a douche. They're in this valley somewhere. We'll find them. We will? Uh... I've been asking I around so. about them, but no one's seen them. Not even that dragon. Did you just say dragon? Don't you believe in dragons? No. Should I? Yeah. I mean it. Hooray! Pretty soon I'll be back in Boneville, and I won't have to worry about dragons or this crazy valley again. Look, I'd like to help you. Well, let's go. No <laughs> time to lose. But I don't know a place called Boneville. I've never heard of it. There's a little village down the road called Barrelhaven. Does that help? Oh. No. I'm pretty sure my cousins are in the valley, unless those two rat creatures got them. Did you just say rat creatures? Let me guess. You don't believe in rat creatures. Now listen to me. You're not fooling around. You really saw two rat creatures? Oh, interesting. I really saw two rat creatures. Hmm. I think we'd better get out of here. I'll take you to Grandma Ben's. She'll know what to do. 
Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. I'll help you pick up your stuff. What's this? Oh, that's just an old map we found in the desert. Why are you making that face? I don't know. Something about this map is familiar. It reminds me of a dream I used to have. Are you okay? Come on, phone bone. Let's get back to the farm and find Grandma. Are you okay? Right behind you, Thor. I can't believe phone bone would just leave me out here wandering around hungry and helpless. I don't I'll think it's back his in Boneville right now, fault? sitting in my house, eating my food. Not you're not allowed there. Ah, uh, shut up. Shut up, stomach. Look, I don't have time for you right now. Oh, cruel, cruel fate! Why have you abandoned your most beloved son? Most God, beloved? Pity me. I pity you too. Okay, okay, I'll try to find some food. Well, we can always look. Oh, we're right back here. What the heck are you supposed to be? I'm Ted's brother. I'm a big bug. You look more like a big bloated leaf. Mm. You seen a guy named Phone Bone around? Who? My cousin, Phone Bone. Never heard of him. Oh? Yeah, yeah, whatever. You're nothing but an overgrown aphid. Oh, oh, oh. Why you? 99. Feel bad about that. No bug alive can match my superior intellect. You mean you're. Good thing this log is here so I can cross the river. Not caring about other life forms? Is that what you mean? Oh, an apple, though. If you're hungry, pick it up. Whoa. <laughs> you were hungry. We're not too far. I doubt they're still there, obviously. Oh, he's sleeping. I love sleep. Have a good night. How come they don't have any proper roads around this place? Because it is a valley slash forest and not a civilized town. Oh. Hello, I don't have time for autographs, kids. I'm in a hurry. Sorry, mister. We thought you were someone else. We thought you were Phone Bone. I don't look anything like Phone Bone. Wait a minute. Did you say you know Phone Bone? Yeah. Phone Bone's my cousin. His cousin? All right! We like Phone Bone. He plays hide and seek with us. Yeah, he would. Why? Because he's got time to have spread joy in other people's days? I don't have time to talk to you kids. Maybe later. Well, they're blocking the exit, Annoying though. little squirts. If I give you kids a dollar, will you tell me where phone went? What's a dollar? You're kidding. No, really. What is it? Oh, never mind. I think I feel ill. Yeah. Come on, just tell me where phone bone went. <laughs> Not till he plays a game with us. Let's play hide and seek. A double. <laughs> oh, brother. Fine. Let's make it quick. Yay! He's gonna play with us. You hide and we'll find you. Oh. Go hide. Come on. I already regret this. Other way around, I guess. One, two, three. Tell us hot or cold. Warm. Where is he? Warm. 
warm. I don't see him. <laughs> Me neither. Warm. Cold. Where are you, Mr. You gotta, Cold? like, if they're facing the opposite way from you, you gotta look, say cold. Cold. Gee, I wish we could find him. I'm behind the big rock. Sure you are. You're right there, dude. Cold. Warm. Yep. All right. <laughs> Excited. Tell us hot or cold. Oh, I'll start with this one. Warm. I can go a bit warm. Down, yeah. Cold. I'm right here, you dumb kids. Cold. Other way, please. Cold. Cold. You're not too good at this game. Uh. Warm. Good right. job. Okay, I don't got one more to deal with. Uh, cold. Cold. Maybe he needs more practice. Maybe. I'm behind those rocks by the river. I could say warm. Warm. I'm not Where really, but he? based off the way they'll go with what I say. Cold. That's cold. Cold. I don't see him. <laughs> Me neither. Uh. But. Oh? Okay. Cold. Warm. Look behind the big rock already. Where do you think he really is? I don't know, kid. You could stick forever, Cold. honestly. He doesn't deserve to go anywhere. Warm. Where are you, Mr. Bold? Cold. Cold. Gee, I wish we could find him. You're so close. Warm. Over here, slug brains. Warm. You're not too good at this game. That, he's not too good at anything Cold. except for being an absolute prick. That's Cold. my only commentary, but Maybe I don't have much to more. say. Yeah! Let's play again! Again? Look, I don't have time for you right now. Okay. Go close your eyes and count to ten. Ugh, let's just leave. We're, we're playing his uh, phone, not phone, uh, phony bone. Hi, Mister. You new around here? I'm looking for a guy named Phone Bone. You seen him? Bone? Oh yeah, I've seen him. You have? I'm saved! Where is he? Don't know. Could be. He's at the farm by now. Oh. Take me to Phone Bone at once. Well, I don't know he's there for sure, but uh, we can ask Grandma Ben. Okay, fine. Let's get a move on. Come on, then. I ain't got all day. I got to warn you, Grandma Ben's an old lady. She might not take to your attitude much. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Is that a shotgun? There ain't a woman alive who can resist my charms. Okie dokie. Follow me. Is there not a woman alive? Hi, Grandma. Well, hello, Ted, dear. Who's your friend? This here fella been asking to meet you. Oh, he looks like such a nice young man. What is it you wanted, dear? You got any food around this place? Oh, are you hungry, dear? Gotta be such a dick. I'm starving. You think I just walk around asking people for food for no reason? Well, I might be able to find you something to eat at the house. If you're willing to work for your supper. I am Funcible P-Bone, the richest bone in Boneville. I don't have to work for anything. You poor thing. You must be far from home.
Cut the chit chat, Grams. You got any food or not? Well, that's about enough of that. Oh, yeah. Ted, dear, I think you'd better leave. I'm gonna tear this little fella apart let's from the go, inside let's out. Let's go. Yes, ma'am. See you around, pal. So Ishmael finds this ship to sign up with, right? And he hears about this mysterious captain, but... Yikes! Phone bone! Save me! That crazy old lady tried to kill me! Well, bless my buttons. What have we got here? Hello, ma'am. They're called bones, Grandma. Sorry, dear. You can't keep them. But... No buts. I don't want any pets running around the house. Grandma, they're not pets. Can you milk them? If you can't milk them, they're pets. Don't that's think that's it. how I'm that works, here. but... Grandma! Hold it, phony. Thorn thinks Grandma Ben can help us get back to Boneville. Help! Help! They've destroyed my cousin's brain! Oh my god, <laughs> they've already milked you, haven't they? Milked? Milked what? Look, do you think you can behave for just a couple of days? Okay, okay, I'll be good. But if we wind up chopped to bits and buried in the woodshed, don't come crying to me! <laughs> you promise you aren't gonna get us in trouble? Jeez! You want it in writing? Yes. You have a piece of paper? Oh, quit your whining. Why don't you introduce me to your good-looking friend? Phony, this is Thorn. Thorn, Phony. So, what have you been doing with my cousin? You two got a little thing going on or what? Phony! No, huh? Figures. What'd you do, bore to death talking about Moby Dick? Well, you boys can stay if you want, but you'll have to sleep in the barn and do a few chores before dinner. That seems manageable. We come from a place called Boneville, ma'am. Thorn says you might be able to help us get back. Well, I never heard of a place called Boneville. But the Spring Fair's coming up in Barrel Haven, and folks come from all over for that. Maybe someone there can help you. Reasonable. Thanks, ma'am. We're happy to help. All right, then. Ponybone, you go to the hot springs and pull up a few turnips for dinner. Then go up to the apple tree at the top of the waterfall and bring back a couple of apples. There's a path next to the house that's a shortcut up there. Phone Bone, you and Thorn can finish washing the potatoes, split a log for the fire, and bring two buckets of water to the porch. Hold on. Why do I have to go back to the stupid forest oh and Phone gets to stay here at the farm? You want to eat tonight? Yeah, yeah. You want right, to live tomorrow? Dragon. Let's get that wood. Okay, I'll chop the wood and you can finish with the potatoes. What? Where I come from, what you just said is backwards. Chopping firewood is a manly thing. You are a and bone. Since I'm the man, I'll you do are a manly bone. Thing. Okay. What a tough guy. <laughs> what kind of manly thing is that? Chin ups. Wash the potatoes. Damn. Hey, Bone, what you doing? I need to split firewood, but this axe is stuck. Oh, yeah. You want some help? Uh. uh sure, Ted. Okie doke, Bone. I think I got some friends can help you out. Go for it, boys. What kind of termites? Oh. Uh... Don't mention it, Bone. Happy to help. But. See you around, Bone. Oh no. Now what am I gonna do? Well. I'll grab that. And I'll say bye to you guys, which by the way, this series is gonna be short. And by short, I mean the next episode will be the finale. It is a short game. So I'm actually gonna end it here. Uh, but again, new episode coming out tomorrow. If you actually are interested in watching, thank you very much. Uh, I'll be there. And I would love to have you. So, I'll see you guys then, hopefully. Bye.